Well, if you've got a Bible with you, perhaps you could turn to Philippians chapter 2, and I'm going to be reading from verses 3 to verse 5. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. And then if you know the passage, it goes on to talk about Jesus, King of the universe, entering our world, not with fanfares and a red carpet, not into a magnificent palace with a staff of a thousand, but humbling himself and coming to serve others. So I wonder how that's going for you in lockdown. Have you found that you seem to work harder than ever, but be less productive than you've ever been? And it's a bit embarrassing. Or have you felt a fool for not being able to manage this new technology-led world that we're now having to embrace? Have you found that the interests of people that you're living with can be very hard to deliver on? Or perhaps you've missed the people and the activities that you used to do that affirmed you and made you feel that you were purposeful, that you were useful. Or Paul's words in Philippians used to make me cringe before lockdown. But now the mirror in my face has become one of those shaving mirrors that magnifies everything. I'm all too aware of my selfish ambition and my pride and my self-interest. But last week I was reading this passage with a friend and I was so encouraged to be reminded by verse one, that profound truth that Christians are those who are united with Christ and that changes everything. So it means that I have no reputation to guard because I've, I've died and I've been raised with Christ. Whether I'm in work or I've been furloughed or retired or I'm homeschooling, I'm not defined by those roles. So I don't need to seek affirmation or approval in those places. I'm justified in Christ. I have the resources to put others before myself because even when I feel at capacity, I'm united to the true source of forgiveness, love and patience. And I don't even need to grasp at life and put all my confidence in masks and gloves or anti back or the NHS to save me from this terrible virus because I am in the creator and he is not at the mercy of created things. I wonder if for a moment you can imagine Jeff Bezos. So he's the richest man in the world. Imagine him walking down the street and stopping next to a homeless person. He jingles some coins in his pocket and then he has this sudden doubt. Can I really afford to give this person some loose change? Will I be able to pay the bills at the end of the month? I mean, it's a ridiculous thought, isn't it? Jeff Bezos is worth over $100 billion. If he stopped and, and handed out a wadge of $1,000, you, you can't imagine him missing it very much. And that is a very small and imperfect picture of the wealth of the resources at our God's disposal. And because we're united to him, it is ours as well. Let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the new identity that you've given us through Christ and the unfathomable riches and blessings of being in him. Please help us see more clearly what life in Christ means in all our different challenges and circumstances. Amen.